welcome to Bob's Bees. What you see here is the Torben Schiffer tree. Uh, this and the book Honeybee Democracy by Thomas Seeley, which is in view now, inspired me to design my own hive. As you can see, it's a hexagon design with a wooden, what will be the interior of the hive. And the idea is to let the bees do whatever they want in there, not meddle with them. So I will not be able to do inspections in this hive, because it'll be topped off with this lid here. This lid will be sanded down further so it's smooth and there's nothing left for the bees to hurt themselves on. And the slits are wide enough for the queen to pass through, so it's not a queen excluder. She will be able to move up in any box I put on top of there. As an outside material of the hive, I used plastic boards that come from a floor I used to have in my uh, living room. And the space in between will be filled up with wood wool uh, to insulate it further. As you can see, the boards themselves have little holes in them, they're hollow, uh, so that should provide some insulation as well. The side we are looking at is the underside of the hive. You can see the lid uh, through the inside of the hexagon shape there. And after filling it up with the insulation, we'll put a material on there that you can see now uh, as a bottom to prevent the bees from getting into the insulation uh, wood wool that we use. My initial idea was to put this hive on a compost um, to let the predatory mites that house inside compost help the bees with the varroa. This idea comes from Geert Steeland, who's already keeping bees this way, and I thought it was a good idea, so I'd try and integrate it into my own apiary. The problem is, life got in the way, I didn't build any of those compost bottom boards yet. So I wanted a solution for the bees to come in and out of this root box um, without actually having a bottom so I could put it on a solid board. That's what the hole you see here uh, is for. And as life goes, I got a swarm call so I decided to put this hive in use and that's what the video here will be about. What you see here is the swarm I caught and uh, installed the day before and I'll be putting the box you see here on top of the box I created you can see bees in front of the hive doing orientation flights. Um, behind the hive you can see on the left in the screen on the bottom of the tree that's the new lid uh, I created for the new hive and to the left of that all the way to the left of the screen the brown dark brown box you can see a bit of is uh, the box I created. And when I say I created, I'm actually meaning I came up with a design in my head and the actual work was done by Eve. I have to give him credit for that. Eve is my uh, friend, beekeeper. You can sometimes see in other videos, uh, or might still see in the future. He's the one that picked up the swarm uh, as I was at work too, so I did get the swarm call, but I had to call him to collect it for me. So let's get started. I removed the lid as you can see. I uh, did observe the bees before and I didn't feel it necessary to smoke them as I wasn't going to actually inspect the hive at first. I didn't think to. I was just going to lift off the entire thing, put the new box there and then uh, continue from there to put everything back together. As you can see, the box is attached to the bottom board with propolis and I had to pry it loose with the hive tool. Moving it aside here, just to move the brown box, the hexagon shape in the middle on top of the bottom board. I'm making sure not to crush bees. This is where our smoker might have come in handy, since Chasing the bees away with a hive tool isn't the best of ideas, but it worked. You can see how I try to fit the box to the front of the entrance of the bottom board uh, without crushing bees, but then looking at the back, I see the bottom board is a bit longer than I had expected it to be. 
And that's why I moved it back a bit. I'm thinking about what to do here in the video. Uh, should I solve this problem? Is there another way to put this hive in operation? Should I do it? Should I put it back together without using this hive? Then I figured they'd find their way with a slit in the front and I just put the box on top of my hive. After the box is on top of my hive I check the dimensions of the lid, the top board, and see that it does fit snugly. Then I go back round and look at the entrance. What are the bees doing? I'm still thinking, can I solve this? How can I solve this? So I just settle on moving the hive back as far as I can uh, without creating an opening in the back and then I'll go around in front and see how much opening they have there and well, it's like when you open up your entire entrance and give the bees pace Yeah, there's a flow on or oh, there was a flow on but the trees that uh, you can see are actually blooming uh, the white stuff you see on the ground, the little white flecks and spots, those are the blossoms falling down. Well, not the blossoms, the uh, flower petals, you know. The flowers are white. Well, you get the chest. Now, to close up the hive with my lid, I have to take off the lid that's on there. And there is a cover board there, uh, filled with bees, so naturally I look for the queen on that. When I don't see it, I'll set it aside and, well, on a split second there, I think, let's do an inspection. It's warm enough. Let's do it. But before you get to see any frames, I have to tell you something about this swarm. It actually came from a beekeeper who caught his own swarm, but didn't want to keep that swarm for himself. And as he's not used to swarms, he wanted to convinced him to stay in the box, so he actually opened up one of his other hives to take out four frames of brood and two frames of what you have. And I didn't actually see the inside of the hive yet, so right now I'm checking where is what... Uh, six frames, yeah, that's his six frames, these are my frames. I'm looking at the uh, order they are in. And while I'm inspecting that, I'm looking at the frames that we put in there without anything on. No wax sheets, no wax strips, nothing, just empty frames. I was pleased to see they were building inside the frames what looked like to me was pretty straight. So I'm hoping I'll be able to take out the frames later on. So here comes the first frame I took out of the hive. As you can see it's filled up nicely with bees. There's brood on there, some drone brood. Uh, the bees stay on the frame pretty well. I don't see any queen cups, so I'm pleased. So I'm checking out the other side now. I'm trying to show it to the camera, but I don't do a real good job of that, so you just see this one little corner. Sorry about that. Bad camera skills for me. And I'm sorry about something else too, since the camera on my phone uh, that I was using was running out of juice. And, well, I put this frame aside and the video is ending, the next frame I pulled out had the queen on it. Yeah, I showed it to the camera, pointed to it with my finger and all, but, well, I didn't get the video of that. So, let's leave it at that, with a nice frame of how I solved the problem with the entrance, and how the entire setup looks like after I was done. Thanks for watching.